Hello and welcome. This is Jasur from Shanghai Silk Road and the JRN firm. We are a corporate consultancy. We assist foreign companies and entrepreneurs enter the Chinese market with company formation, opening bank accounts, resident and non-resident. Also specialize in assisting uh, with special licenses in China and many other countries, neighboring Hong Kong, for example, United States, Canada, European countries. Uh, if you want to work with us, you can get in touch with us and we'll be glad to hear from you. Now, the topic today is uh, corporate taxes and individual taxes in China. I did a few videos before on this channel. You can search and watch them as well. But generally speaking, corporate taxes and individual taxes, they are very complex topics like any other country. I'm not an accountant, so I'm not going to give you uh, exact percentages, but I can tell you how they work when you open a company in China. It doesn't matter what kind of company, maybe except for uh, representative office, because representative office by law in China, they cannot generate income. But other types of companies which can generate income, corporate taxes is uh, pretty much similar. How it works and you know how much percentage you are facing. Uh, right now, actually, once I received this question from one of our viewers on YouTube, I contacted our accountant and asked for an example. Uh, so let's say, you know, let's start with corporate tax. Uh, let's say your company in China made one hundred thousand. Uh, US uh, RMB. Uh, we're not talking about USD here. In China, it's only RMB. So 100,000 RMB profit. Okay. How much corporate tax you're facing from this? So basically, uh, from zero to actually less than 300,000 yuan, and that's you know a year, you're facing five percent corporate tax. Okay, five percent corporate tax. Now the corporate tax calculation happens every quarter. Okay, every quarter they calculate. So if you're making less than 300,000 still you're on this 5%, okay? And um, if it's more than 300,000 yuan, then the percentage goes up to 25%, okay? So it's between 5 and 25% and uh, depends on your net profit, guys. You cannot really, like, before you actually start doing, before you actually, you know, generating income and making profits, it's really hard to come up with exact numbers. It's so complex. And regarding personal tax, when do you pay personal tax in China is... When you get your company's work visa, you do not pay personal tax in China until you start working for your company. For example, let's say you are still listed as company director, but you don't have a visa in China, work visa. In this scenario, you don't pay any personal tax in China because by law, you cannot receive salary from your company. When can you receive salary from your company is only after you get your work permit and you get this uh, work visa, which is residence visa. So this when we talk about actually work visa in China, it consists of two things, work permit card and residence permit. Two of them make the work permit, or work visa actually in China. So once you get that, only then you can pay personal tax. You will have to actually, because you can pay yourself salary. And then from that salary, you need to pay personal tax. How much will it be? Well, I cannot tell you that. It's extremely hard to calculate because I'm not an accountant, but I can tell you one thing. 5,000 yuan a month is non-taxable income in China. Anything above uh, 5,000 yuan a month, depending on when you pay, which months you pay, so the percentage actually uh, you know, varies. Okay? I can give you another example, a realistic example. Uh, one of our clients, they are paying 18,000 yuan every month salary. From 18,000 yuan, you are facing approximately 2,400 yuan tax, personal tax. That is an example, realistic example. Okay, and again, depending on which day of the month you pay, the percentage might differ. Okay, um, so the, the calculation is very complex, but this approximate percentage uh, I'm giving you. And there is another tax when you have a company, which is value added tax (VAT). VAT payments happen when your company sells services or products in China. Uh, let's say you sell some physical products, based on the type of the product. VAT percentage differs from 6% all the way to 13%. So what kind of product you're, you're selling to ch in, in China to a Chinese client, uh, then you need to see uh, the product. Okay? It depends on the product. There is a percentage between 6 and 13%. You need to collect VAT, actually. And then government is going to withdraw it from your corporate account. And, of course, uh, when you're selling services, let's say uh, business consultancy, um, usually business consultancy is 6% VAT. So when you need to collect 6% VAT every time you sell uh, consulting services. Now, however, not all companies pay VAT or collect VAT. Why? Because there are two types of taxpayers in China. Small-scale taxpayer company and general taxpayer company. 
when you register for taxes uh, in China, you need to decide which type of taxpayer you want to be. If you're a general taxpayer, then you need to start collecting VAT from day one, from each transaction. But if you're a small scale taxpayer, then you don't have to until you cross that threshold. Threshold, if I'm not mistaken, is around 1 million yuan. So when you cross that 1 million yuan, only then you need to collect VAT. Even if you cross that threshold, you don't automatically become a general taxpayer. Only you just have to collect VAT. That's it. Your status as a taxpayer remains a small scale until you consciously make a change in the status. So generally speaking, this is the tax situation in China for company owners, but compared to many, many Western countries, it's still very low because I know that uh, from our clients, again, realistic uh, in the US who you know relocated to, to the US to run their company and Canada especially, the tax percentages in China, very low. Uh, in those countries, like might go up to like 50%, 53% sometimes. And some of the European countries as well. So you don't have to worry that your taxes will go uh, to that level in China. Realistically, in average, companies pay between 5 and 12%, realistically, in average. So that's the, that's the maybe target you need to aim. Uh, yeah. Of course, if your company is new and uh, the profits obviously are going to be big, then yes, uh, you, you can expect something up to 25%, maybe closer to 25%. But if you are you know, small to medium company, then you don't have to worry about the corporate taxes that, that much because, again, the, 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 the taxes are going to be between 5 and 12%, uh, realistically. Um, guys, with that, I think, um, you know, I, I've given general information. Again, uh, I'm not an accountant. Based on our company's, you know, uh, situation here, uh, this information is provided for you. Uh, but, of course, if you need, like, exact information, you need to, you know, com consult an accountant, a licensed Chinese accountant, and uh, they will be able to give you more, like, exact figures. But, once again, it's extremely hard to calculate without you having an actual company. Because the accountant is going to ask you exact numbers as well, like uh, how much profit, how much income, how much uh, expenses, etc. Anyway, so feel free to contact us for corporate services in China, Hong Kong, US, Canada, European countries, and especially in Uzbekistan as well. We have a branch office there and we assist companies entering the Central Asian market. With their products and services, we'll be glad to assist you as well. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.